Hey guys, before this video begins, I want everyone to go down to the description section below and hit that link to go subscribe to Golden Scouter. The guy makes some really awesome content and some of the most original stuff this community has ever seen, so please make sure to go support him. But with that being said, enjoy the video. Go Universe 10! Yeah guys, <laughs> you saw that title, so in real to reels here, you heard that laugh. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's good, it's good. Thanks for having me on again, and uh, hopefully... People start to understand exactly what that title is actually about after we discuss it. Okay, guys. So basically, you saw the title. I already said it twice. So now we're going to discuss why me and Mark, real to real, why we think that Universe 10 deserves a little bit more shine, and why we don't want them to lose this tournament. So <laughs> I'm going to start off real fast. So whatever episode that they debuted in, I mean, uh, we haven't even seen the guys behind the cloak. We only saw that one guy who's just like, protein, man, protein. <laughs> <laughs> but ever since then, I was just like, God, these guys are such bros. I love them. I know that they're probably going to get defeated right away. But man, like, do I want to see them shine in this tournament? Do I want to see them provide a lot of comic relief in this tournament? And not only that, but... Gawasu, like, I've liked his character more and more. I mean, the whole thing with that whole, the whole team is that it's kind of, like, clumsily put together, and that's kind of the whole joke. But in my opinion, I think that they're actually pretty funny in a very corny way. But what do you, what do you think, Real? Why do you think that, or why do you want these guys to win? Why are you rooting for them? Well, shout out to Herms, because I'm pretty sure that Herms is talking about, like, uh, I think you were the one who told me about this. I didn't see it myself, uh, but he was the one who said that the name for the people in Universe 10 are, like, the, the, the leader is, like, hopeless losers or something. I don't know. It, it's a pun to basically show that they're not going to be, I guess, relevant at all in this entire tournament, which is sad because, I mean, we just got done with an entire arc dealing with that particular universe and how the ramifications might affect everything going forward and i would really like to see them focus more on universe 10 and its participation with all this stuff especially when we're considering guasu and everyone else involved with that universe um and that's kind of what my indication is where even though his name is a pun and we're supposed to kind of gravitate towards that pun Notor uh, toriyama and just dragon ball in general is just like notoriously hard to predict and goes off the wall, doesn't do anything that you expect or anything else like that. So having them be the hopeless winners of the te of the Tournament of Power, just by complete and sheer utter accident. Like, there's going to be a bunch of destruction on this tournament field. If someone gets buried in rubble and ends up being the only man left standing at the end of the entire tournament, I wouldn't be too surprised. And then you're sitting there going, like, I didn't see that coming. Well, you not you weren't really supposed to, because as much as we actually see the... I guess the huge stakes that go along with this particular tournament, it's still going to be lighthearted. There's still going to be some kind of a happy ending, and this might be the per possible way that they actually end up doing it. Yeah. I mean, one of the things, too, is that I don't want Guasu's live stream of GodTube to end. <laughs> That's another thing, too. I want his dance videos to actually be successful. I don't want him to get erased. <laughs> I mean, I'm, real, I'm really, really hoping that these guys really pull through. I mean, they kind of remind me of the average Joes from that movie Dodgeball. I mean, I don't know if you've seen that. I'm sure you, I'm sure you have. Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I've seen it. But, I mean, they kind of remind me of that kind of a team where it's just like, yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it is a comedy movie. Yeah, you know they're going to win at the end because, of course, they're the main characters. But in this case, these guys, like... I'm actually kind of rooting th for them in some kind of a strange way. Like, it's not even because it's Goasu and I just want him to keep live streaming, but it's just because, <laughs> <laughs> like, it really seemed like that the angel of that universe, like, actually tried to actually put them together, and the God of Destruction, at least. Like, even though I'm not really too fond of the elephant design, per se, like, I think that his head looks a little bit too disproportionate to his body, but mm -hmm. kind of going off topic there. But, I mean, <laughs> I just, I really want to see more of these guys. Hopefully, 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 that because we haven't seen under their hoods, maybe they're actually bringing something more, and that that one guy who's just like, protein bro, 
protein. Maybe he's just like the weakest one or something like that, and everyone else is just like, yeah, we're not, we're like, we just let him talk just because, <laughs> just because. Yeah, like, uh, the one thing that they basically would, I would love to see, and I've talked about this before, but I would love to see the fact that Gowasu would probably is most likely going to be live streaming this, like in terms of who was actually filming the last tournament on GodTube, or who was actually filming Frieza on GodTube to the point where the Gods of Destruction in Universe Four and Nine know who Frieza is because they saw it on GodTube. Like, who is filming this stuff? Like, we only know that Gowasu is filming this stuff, and Gowasu even said he was going to get an account sometime in the last arc, so he has a brand new account. Unless he was completely lying there, and he's been the he's been like you know the the clickbait or YouTuber for or GodTuber for the longest time, so. Uh, I would really love to have him win by accident and then get disqualified for streaming the God Tube or streaming the entire tournament on God Tube, and like be kind of a wink and a nod to everyone watching. Like, uh, we know that we know who you YouTubers are, and we know that we restrict y'all all the time for using our our footage. So this is just our wink and a nod to you. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. I'm just saying I think it would be pretty funny. And then at the same time, you have. Uh, you have kind of the th- thing that I was thinking about with this is, like you said, they're all in these hoods and they're all kind of mysterious. You don't necessarily know who they are. It reminds me a lot of the Shinigami or what, I don't know. They weren't Shinigami, but the gods in the Dark Tournament arc who have the hoods over themselves. And when you actually take off the hoods, they all have like these really weird personalities and some of them are way stupider than the other ones who are actually way stronger and aren't necessarily the team leaders. So maybe that's what they're kind of getting at. And maybe they're trying to trick everyone who's watching right now to think that Universe 10 has absolutely no chance at actually winning. When honestly, if you take the show at face value, there's a good chance that Universe 10 will actually win because as a lot of people like to point out, even though Dragon Ball is not really written in the same way that most other shows or stories are. It's not. It doesn't think way too far ahead. But considering in the very last arc, you had Go, Gowasu and Zamasu take their time rings a thousand years into the future. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, there is some indication that yes, this is them winning and their universe is going to persist. So that's another possibility as to why Universe Ten might actually be the winners of this tournament. Yes, I agree, and I always enjoy hearing your perspective, because I remember that you were actually pretty stoked about this topic whenever I first pitched it. (laughs) (laughs) I just think it'd be so cool, dude. It's so unexpected, but also so Dragon Ball, that the team with, like, absolutely no chance, and at this point, considering the fact that they've shown us, they've shown us at this point, um, I guess, abilities or people with some kind of interesting concept or look to themselves or power from what universe 2 universe 3 they've shown us the persistence of universe 4 and universe 9 uh through the preliminary matches they've shown us 7 and uh 6 obviously and they've shown us 11 with the pride troopers everyone else is exempt from actually participating so universe 10 has it all we've seen them is dancing and they have the, they have those hoods on and everything else. They haven't necessarily gone out of their way to show us anything about them. So having them basically stand up at the end of all of this and be the people winning would be pretty epic, in my opinion. Pretty funny, actually, uh, considering the fact that I don't necessarily believe the whole these are the ultimate stakes and you're obviously going to lose and everyone's going to die and there's going to be basically zero universes outside of the five that are still going to be existing at the end of all this tournament at the end of all of this i don't believe it until i see it i won't believe it and i think we're going to have a happy ending so having a a completely no name shouldn't win in a million years universe win this tournament is going to be yeah, pretty funny i agree or would be i mean especially since going back over to yu yu haka show the person who actually won the demon world tournament at the very end of the series wasn't even someone who, of the three kings or anyone like that it was just some very easygoing demon who won that tournament and that's exactly why at least i think that the story kind of resolved the way it did in that one but that's a different thing and also going back on that like, going back to even earlier parts of Super, Monaka actually won the last tournament, so there's that, too. 
Yeah, exactly. And so there's just there's all this other reasons to justify exactly why this might potentially happen for everyone who's interested or involved in some way, shape, or form. And uh, there's a good argument to be made. I think you and I have touched on some really interesting points as to why this could potentially happen. Yes, exactly. And just because it amuses us, mostly. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, do you have anything else you want to add to this discussion before we wrap up the video for today? No, man, no. I, I just, uh, I thank you for having me on. Like I said, this is a really interesting talk that I don't think anyone else is really covering. Uh, everyone's writing them off, but, you know, at the end of the day, we could actually see them win. I think there's a good argument to be made, so yeah. Definitely. But anyways, guys, make sure to go and sub to Real to Real. Let us know in the comments section. Do you think that this is actually possible? Do you think that we're dumb for thinking of this? <laughs> Let us know. Or do we think that or do you think that we're geniuses? <laughs> Let us know that too. Preferably that. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, especially to Real to Real and I. And everyone, have a good day and enjoy Dragon Ball Super. Have a good one.